What is up, you awesome kisters? It is Sister Reacts here, guys. Now, to get this stuff out the way, Steel Wool, if you are watching this video, you can ask me on Discord, comments, or anything to take this video down, and I completely will. No questions asked. Uh, no disrespect to y'all. was not trying to disrespect you. The reason why I posted this video is because I've seen multiple people on Twitter now posting these screenshots and people who are at the events, uh, big YouTubers, posting, uh, posting like pictures of the event, and the game is like, fully in view on screens <laughs> in the background uh with the jackie animatronic on top so you know i'm pretty sure if steel wool or the representatives there had problems with cameras they would have told people to, to like put the cameras away or make sure they do not see the screens so yeah um yeah i'm assuming there's no problems with cameras and stuff and plus i'm pretty sure no one can record their gameplay anyway since i'm pretty sure no one's gonna ask to have someone hold their camera, have a complete stranger hold their phone. So anyway, yeah, got, got that out the way. I'm going to show the screenshots. Um, if you are a person who does not want to see Secret of the Mimic screenshots, you can go ahead and click off this video. If you're a person who wants to see Secret of the Mimic screenshots, I'm about to post them, or not post them, but I'm about to show them in three, two, one. So yeah, on Five Nights at Freddy's alert Twitter, we have nine screenshots showing Secret of the Mimic uh, gameplay. It's not really gameplay per se. It's just like locations that you can't really like make out or know what they are, especially if you don't have the thing that Coda posted on Discord. Um, so apparently what Coda has said is Five Nights at Freddy's Secret of the Mimic takes place in a toy factory. And in this demo, you are going against the uh, Jack in the Box animatronic that the... Um, mimic is inside uh, apparently the official name for this according to the steel wool representatives there is jackie looks like a terrifying creepy ass clown so yeah of course with five nights of freddy's it's gotta look like that so with the first screenshot i'm just gonna give my like best guess on uh, what all nine of these are so starting with the first screenshot i'm assuming we're in a uh we're, we're obviously in a toy factory after hours because this whole place looks dark because obviously there's like some lights in the areas um and this machine is on and casting a big ca casting a lot of light everywhere so i'm assuming this is probably like some vending machine of some sort a trash can right there this is probably a production room of sorts or a storing room of sorts. Um, I, I, I'm assuming they're chairs or animatronic characters in there. Um, for the next screenshot, we got some lights on the floor. Um, I think uh, there is light coming from a window and it's hitting the floor since there's like uh, grates down there. Um, there are some shelves so maybe we'll be able to hide in those or look inside of those and see some animatronic junk in there there's a very very long hallway and i think there's a shadow casting on it too so maybe we're like at some point as the security guard maybe monitoring the animatronics that break loose in the factory during the night um but i still have no idea how this uh game is gonna go i don't know if they're just gonna make it like a free roam type of five nights of freddy's game or is it gonna be level to level and moment to moment like five nights of freddy's security breach was so maybe this is like a point where you get holed up in the security office and they're doing the whole traditional five nights of freddy's look at look at him through the cameras and try not to get caught um yeah in this next room uh this could be like some miniature carousel inside of the toy factory for maybe when they allow people to visit uh there's some hole right here so maybe this is a part of like some big set area for an animatronic um there's a bunch of static on this one so maybe the animatronic that we're looking after has the ability to punch out cameras so you can't see him like bonnie in the joy of creation um this could also be a mini carousel too, or this could be a show stage of some sort. I, I have no idea, but there's like a there's like a little plate down here that I'm assuming that spins. So I, I don't know. It could be a show stage for an animatronic, or it could just be like some another mini carousel area. There's like um, a factory room down here, like some big machine with pipes. There's a door. Um, there looks to be a camera pointed towards a window and the windows they don't look heavily boarded up so i don't think this is at a time where the factory is like 
Finance of Freddy's security breach ruined. Like, the factory is still ongoing. Um, but then again, they got like, actually, yeah, no, it doesn't look boarded up. Never mind. Uh, we got some posters on a wall right here, and we got maybe like some writing on a board. There's, it says something up there, but I don't know. Maybe that's why they allow people to look at the, or that's why they allow people to post the screenshots because you can't really make out the rooms. But um, from from what I'm from what I'm seeing here, we're probably going to be sitting in the management office because that's what it's called from what Coda said. We're going to be sitting at the management office, looking at the animatronic on the cameras. It's probably going to break stuff. It's probably going to try to scare the hell out of you. Get inside the office. You probably have to shut the doors and keep it locked up. Uh, for a while until you find a way out of there and then um the animatronic probably chases you anyway so i, I kind of been theorizing on twitter of like who we're playing as because i i don't think a child is gonna know how to access the security system to this place and i thought steel wool would keep up the streak of like a child protagonist and since we're going back in the past i thought we were going to be playing as like maybe charlie henry's daughter or maybe michael because you know he's always been the security guard in the game so maybe we were playing as like a near teenage michael sneaking into the sneaking into his dad's toy factory after hours thinking it's cool but then next thing you know he gets chased by the uh very funny animatronic the mimic so yeah uh I, I don't know but i do know that this animatronic is definitely very violent since he's punching out cameras and disabling them and this camera angle right here in particular really interests me because it's like it's pointed towards a window it's not pointed towards like well from the looks of it, it it looks like it's pointed towards a window or maybe like two sets of doors it actually might be two sets of doors since there's like no light spilling into the area but i'm gonna i'm just gonna make my guess and and just say what i thought it was gonna be maybe it's like two maybe it's like a huge window and it's set right here because the mimic can actually climb on walls. I don't know if a lot of you have seen what the mimic actually looks like, the clown suit, but it has like long arms and it looks like they, the mimic can actually stretch them. It has a creepy mask, uh, you know, a, a clown mask and it has like red hair. So I'm assuming William built that shit because he's always building the clown animatronics, but I'm assuming we're going to watch the mimic climb on the damn wall, maybe try to break out, punch the window but then he gets pissed and like crawls to some other camera on the screen. I don't know, man. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the video. I can't really say anything more um, from f from these like pictures because there's nothing really to go on. But let me know what you guys think about this game. Who do you guys think we're playing as? Do you guys think we're playing as a kid, one of Henry or William's kids? Do you think we're playing as a night guard? that has to go through five nights of tracking the animatronics or is it going to be a level to level based thing because my theory is we we do all this animatronic stuff by night and then during the daytime we actually get to explore the carnival and play mini games that can um you know solve fnaf lore since mini games always solve fnaf lore um yeah that, that would kind of be a cool concept but i don't know since steel Wool always does level to level maybe they might change things here maybe they won't but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Five Nights at Freddy's secret of the mimic screenshots. Um, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. And again, Steel Wool, no disrespect. You, you can always go ahead and tell me to take this shit down, and I will.